Hi friends. From this video you will learn what you need to do with a sweet pepper bush in order to get rapid flowering, massive fruit formation and a big harvest. You need to have time to do this in May at the initial stage of development of pepper bushes. To make the outflow of nutrients from excess growth to the fruit, as well as to the tops, growth points that will begin to grow and develop rapidly after this operation. Well, let's talk about everything in detail and in order. With regard to the formation of fruits, many subscribers write to me in the comments that the pepper blooms well, but there are absolutely no fruits. After flowering, all flowers fall off. And this is because there was no pollination. Especially if you grow peppers in a greenhouse where there are no natural pollinators, bees and wind. So I pollinate pepper flowers by hand, either with a brush, or just with my finger, just like I show in the video. Then you defy nightly have all the peppers formed from flowers. The next question that you often ask in the comments is what to do with the first pepper that grows from the center of the first fork. There are people who advise removing it so that the bush begins to develop rapidly, but this is a delusion. I made a comparison, on one bush I removed the first pepper on the other, no. As a result, on the bush where the first pepper was removed, the crop began to ripen later and was less than one pepper. Because I removed it, I no longer remove the first pepper and I advise you not to. The next thing I defy nightly do is remove the extra leaves. This is easy to do with ordinary garden shears. Or here's a fingertip to remove suckers. We remove the leaves in order to make an outflow of nutrients to the tops and provoke an increase in foliage in the upper part of the pepper bush. We remove the leaves to the first fork and there may also be suckers. We also remove them. This way we make good ventilation of the lower part of the bush and prevent the development of diseases and pests because they love shade and dampness. And then in my videos I will show the next stage in the formation of a bush of peppers. Do not miss this video where you will understand what other shoots will need to be removed and also which forks to remove and which ones to leave. This is what your pepper flavor should look like after initial shaping. As you can see, before the first fork, all the leaves were removed. Now the entire bush will grow abundantly. It is also desirable after this pruning you need to feed the pepper. It is necessary to feed with nitrogen or phosphorus fertilizers. I already showed a lot of dressings at the beginning of this season. Go to my channel and look at the fertilizer playlist. Top dressing there is universal. They are suitable for both tomatoes, peppers and, of course, cucumbers. If you have any questions ask them in the comments. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel so as not to miss new videos. I wish you a good day. See you in new videos.